How's everybody doing today? This is Bandit Chimera here for Bandit Chimera's Corner, and we are doing an unboxing, and the unboxing is the Smuggler's Bounty. So this is Smuggler's Bounty number three. Uh, the three, this is the third one that's come out. Uh, the first one was The Order from the new Star Wars movie. The second one was The Resistance, and this one is The Cantina. And this is The Cantina box. And we just got this in today. Um, very excited for it because it's supposed to have two pops among other things in it. So we're going to give it a whirl, check it out, and see what it is. Uh, see what is in it. I don't know what's in it um, other than the fact that they did spoil what one of the pops were. Um, I've actually tried to be clean the entire weekend and not go online and spoil it for myself and try to find out what's in it. Because honestly, I didn't want to know until I unboxed it. So other than the one that they spoiled... Uh, which I'm sure is going to look really cool. I don't know what's in it. Uh, now, the last couple of Smuggler's Bounties have had similar things. Each one has had a patch, each one has had a pin, each one has had a shirt. But they've all been different, uh, and they're all pretty cool. I've actually got uh, three of the shirts, as in one of the shirts. Uh, I didn't get out of the boxes, but uh, my girlfriend, for uh, uh, for a lovely present, ended up buying it for me. And I wear it all the freaking time because I think little pop Kylo Ren is cool as hell. Uh, but that is neither here nor there. This one is the Cantina Box. Right after the Cantina Box got actually revealed or came out, uh, they revealed the next one, uh, which is not in April but will be in May because they do every other month, uh, is going to be Bounty Hunters. And they've been uh, advertising Boba Fett like a boss. However, that just seems way too obvious. I don't think it's going to be a Boba Fett pop. It might have something to do with Boba Fett. Uh, but there are some other cool bounty hunters that they haven't done pops of yet. So, maybe. Maybe we'll finally get that IG-88. Maybe we'll get a Forlom. Maybe we'll get a Boshk. Uh, maybe we'll get a Clone Wars bounty hunter. Or maybe we'll actually see our first Rebels pop. Because they said the Rebels pops are coming, but they didn't say when and where or how or any of those other things. Uh, so let's find out what is in Cantina. So... Because uh, this is sealed, I have not opened it. I actually have to use my hand to dan and have to open it up to find out what is in our box of awesome our smugglers bounty. All right, smugglers bounty has continued the theme of a pin. This is one of the. Um, uh, what are these stupid guys called? The uh, the the Cantina band there. I'm uh, I'm losing uh, my brain here. I can't think of actually what the name of the Cantina band is, um, but it's one of them. And a Greedo patch. So now this is the third patch. This one being Greedo, and it's got a little picture of the uh, looks like uh, looks like uh, Luke Skywalker's house in Tatooine, uh, or the uh, B uh, Baru in Owen's house maybe. Up in fire, you know, so. But cool, but cool. Alright, um, ooh, oh, very, very nifty. Um, there is a Chewbacca pen. This is a pen, and that's pretty awesome. A little, little Chewbacca wobbler on the top there. That, that's awesome, definitely, uh, liking that. And we have a shirt. And we have a shirt. And it's obviously cantina themed, as they said it was going to be cantina themed. Uh, criminal wanted, dead or alive. And the criminal is Pondababa. Pondababa, the homeboy that got his head, or got his arm chopped off by Obi-Wan in the movie. So that's actually really cool. Um, yep, it's a wanted, dead or alive Pondababa shirt. Um, pretty nifty. That's actually, uh, I like that. That's actually really cool. I'm definitely going to be wearing that one. Uh, now on to what many of you guys, uh, are looking for, or looking forward to, uh, which is going to be the Pops themselves. Alright. First one is, this is a new mold of Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ben Kenobi. And as you can see, he's kind of holding his uh, saber down there. He's uh, dropping saber. And he's going to be dropping it on Pondababa. 
because Point to Baba and Dr. Evans were the two uh, that were given Luke Skywalker crap. So old Ben Kenobi, Obi Wan, is dropping lightsaber down on the Pond of Baba. So he wasn't dead, but he was severely maimed. Now we got another guy in here. And this was the second one. Um, man, he looks so Star Trek. Um, but he's obviously Star Wars. That, but tell me that, that that red shirt guy, that red shirt, he is the Red Snaggletooth. I think, yep, some Red Snaggletooth. Tell me Red Snaggletooth does not kind of look kind of like, you know, somebody maybe out of Star Trek um, with his little snaggly tooth there. Uh, he was in the cantina, so, like, that actually is something that uh, is legit. Uh, so he is in the cantina scene. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, definitely, I mean, like of all the characters that were in the cantina, uh, there were a ton to choose from. So uh, good job on them for coming up. And uh, Snaggletooth actually is one of the, um, I guess I would say, the more popular ones. Um, I've actually uh, seen him in like action figures and stuff before. Um, so kind of cool. It's pretty nifty. Uh, so we had, to recap, a red Snaggletooth. We also had our Ben Kenobi. Ben, Luke, use the force. We had our kick butt, Pwn to Baba wanted dead or alive t-shirt. And yeah, he is wanted dead or alive. And he's got the, uh, it's got the Imperial symbol on there and everything. Like, he was a wanted man. He was a criminal. He was a criminal that deserved... Criminal justice and such. And we had the Chewbacca pen, and I'll gonna actually open this pen because I probably will be using the crap out of this. It's pretty nifty. Um, I knew that they were actually starting to come out with the pens, and the pen doesn't wobble, so that's not a problem really or anything. But it does not wobble. Uh, it is a little cool, little cool ass Chewbacca. <laughs> And such, so that's pretty nifty. And then we got uh, what we've been getting in every box. Uh, every box has come with a patch, and I believe they'll probably just follow suit for every single other one. Like each one will have a patch with that theme. And uh, Biff's, I think these guys are Biff Band. Um, the the Biff Band. The... <laughs> So that was everything that's in there. Now I don't really have much else to unbox for you, but if you probably noticed if you watched any of my other videos, the wall keeps getting bigger. Um, I've been debating. We'll we'll see actually uh, how much more or how many more that uh, of these little guys that I pick up. Um, I have been picking up more. I've been trying to get some of the more rare ones, um, not necessarily just Star Wars, but other things that interest me. Um, I actually am very interested in the Fallout Pops and actually have a complete set of all of the Fallout um, Power Armor Pops as well as a couple of the rare ones. Um, also very excited for some more of the Dragon Ball. Um, I've got some of the uh, Back to the Future ones back there, some open, some not. And I've actually had a couple of new ones recently. Um, most recently uh, we're looking at... Uh, Draco Malfoy, um, or at least Quidditch Draco Malfoy to go with my Quidditch Harry Potter that I had, um, and uh, my girlfriend for my for Valentine's Day bought me uh, He Man, which is a very rare one, as well as a Hikari uh, Gold Skeletor, which is badass as hell. Um, now, what I've been debating, and we'll see, because I mean, obviously, I can't do these all the time, and I don't have the you know the funds and the functionality to be buying these like crazy um, but maybe not some unboxings maybe just some unveiling showing off some of the pops uh, that I've been picking up in case people are interested one of them being and I think a couple of you guys have seen before uh, that I have a Miku obsession um, but that I have uh, Crystal Miku now so now I have all three Mikus I've got Shiny Miku who's right here she's the shiny one I have the regular Miku right there, and then Crystal Miku. So um, maybe in addition to uh, these unboxings, because I do plan on continuing to get the Smuggler's Bunny, 
uh, maybe I'll actually showcase some of uh, the other pops that I've been picking up. Now, I'm not, not necessarily going to say I'm going to unbox them because many of the pops, as you can see uh, from the backdrop there, I don't unbox, uh, but some of them I do. So you'll uh, we'll see as it goes. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the unboxing. Um, there will be some other stuff coming um, in the immediate future. Eh, it might not be anything. Um, I definitely will be doing the um, Bounty Hunter uh, Smuggler's Bounty, though. Uh, so, and then if people like and want to see some of the other pops um, in a little video, I can, you know, three, four minute video, uh, I can showcase some of the other stuff that I've been picking up. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to be planning on picking up a ton of them all the time because um, I'm not a crazy pop hunter. I just like to pick up certain pops. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I do greatly appreciate it. Um, I hope you got to see some cool stuff that you actually liked. Um, I know that this one actually was pretty cool. So uh, Obi-Wan, uh, Ben Kenobi is pretty cool looking. Uh, the box is actually really cool on there. Red Snagglefoot is pretty cool too. So thank you very much for watching. This has been Bandit Shimmer for Bandit Shimmer's Corner. If you liked what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe, please. Uh, if you don't like what you saw, I'm sorry. Uh, but thank you either way. And most importantly, love and peace! Bye, guys.